Son am fuerin gler kein mila falte Reptium na taspontes digital print hunkai Emalia aha clear You're very welcome to the digital print.ie showroom in Glasnevin in Dublin we're broadcasting live to you today I'm delighted to do so for the launch of the new Epson or 5000 new Epson or series range of resin printers we're really excited about this technology and it's adding to our growing portfolio of Epson solutions for signage and display. My name is John Newman and together with my colleague Colin McCarthy over the next 45 minutes or so we're going to give you a deep dive demo into this technology, show you under the hood, show you what it's, what it's all about and why we're so particularly excited by it. I'm going to start with a short PowerPoint presentation just to introduce some of the key fundamentals of the product, if you like. And following that, we will go in under the hood, literally under the hood, as you'll see. We'll have a closer look at what the system can do and what its key features and benefits to you, the sign maker or printer, could be. And we'll also take some time to introduce a couple of other solutions in the showroom to you. There's a number of cameras in the showroom. All the while, you'll be able to keep an eye on the R series if it's not in the main camera down below. So you'll never need to take your eyes off the R series if that's what's of key interest to you. It's going to be printing continuously while we're in the showroom here today. So without further ado, let me begin with a short PowerPoint presentation before we take it further. Thank you. Go left. Go left. So, you can see there. You haven't clicked on PowerPoint. In the middle of the slides. You need to click on the PowerPoint. Coming right from yeah. the top of the Epson organization, Kazuyoshi Yamamoto, president of Epson Europe. Each and every one of us can make a green choice. And now, our signage and display Don't customers really do have a green, sustainable choice on offer to them by way of the new Epson or series This truly is a product for a sustainable future, without compromise, as you'll see as we go through the demo. And for Epson, for Epson, sustainability isn't just a buzzword. It's very much a core fundamental part of what they do and how they do business. In fact, Epson have been awarded platinum status by top independent assessors, EcoVadis, for two years running now. Both this year, it's just been announced, 2021, and last year. That puts them in the top 1% of companies in their industry for sustainability and all that goes with that. So not just the product here, and the ink set, as we're going to explain, and everything about the product, but also the company behind the product. On November the 1st, just to give you an idea, Epson will become the first company in Japanese manufacturing to convert to 100% renewable electricity in all its domestic manufacturing sites. So it's very much not just a buzzword for Epson. So let's talk specifically now about the OR series. It's a series because there's two printers in the range. We have this one here, the R5000, which is a bulk ink system, six color, 64 inch wide signage and display printer. It comes with a punch. The second printer in the range on the right hand side as you look at the screen is uh, a super bulk system if you like, in that it takes three liters of ink in each cartridge. One point through two sets of 1.5 liters for each color, and it has the added value of a hot swap. So you never need to interrupt printing to check your ink. At the heart of the very best signage printers on the market is an Epson printhead, and being an Epson product, this one of course is no different. And what really excites us about this product, one of the number of things, is that it's using the same technology that that that's at the core of the Epson S8600 or the S-Series, as well as the V7000. 
and a range of other solutions from Epson. This print head is tried and tested, therefore. It delivers a photographic print quality. And really importantly, when we're looking at this ink set, this water-based ink set, it's a long life. It should last the lifetime of the printer. Indeed, up to five years or perhaps even more than that. It's not a consumable, therefore. It doesn't need to be changed. The quality is stunning and it maintains that quality day in, day out, week in, week out, through the months and the years. If colour consistency and matching your customer's colours is a headache for you, have a look at the Epson products because those types of headaches, for a number of reasons, and at the core of those is the printhead, are now a thing of the past. Epson is a powerhouse when it comes to research and development. They invest $1.3 million per day on average in R&D and it really shows Epson are one of the very few manufacturers in this segment that have their own ink chemists. So they make all their own uh, printers, they make their own print heads, and they make their own ink. That together gives you a really stable product. I mentioned the ink and the ink chemists that Epson have. That's resulted in this resin ink. That's at the core of this printer. As the print head is, the ink set goes with that. And this ink set is really one of the things that gives this product its sustainability credentials. It's a water-based, odorless ink. And being water-based, and because of the printing method used here, there's a very wide substrate compatibility. So we can print on papers, we can print on fabrics, and we can also print on all of the signage substrates that you would be used to printing onto on your wide format printer. It's also very durable, scratch resistant, and immediately dry. Because of its durability, it widens the number of applications for which it's suited to. So it's, take it for granted, it's suited for all your outdoor applications, vehicle graphics, PVC banners, vinyls, but also your high quality indoor decor, wall papering, and a whole lot more point of sale and poster paper. This ink, before I pass over the column, has an out-of-the-box a whole range of accreditations and certifications that give you confidence to show your sustainability credentials if you're using this. It has the Green Guard Gold Certificate, the French GOC, the German AGBB, the Nordic Swan. As I said, giving you confidence, an increasing number of our customers are being asked in turn by their customers what they're doing as regards sustainability on their production floor. This product help, helps answer a lot of those questions. So now I'm going to pass over to my colleague Colin McCarthy, who's going to give you a closer look at this printer under the hood and uh, allow you to really understand what it can do for your business. Hey, Dion. My name's Colin McCarthy. Thanks, John, for that introduction and just a little bit of information on the technology on board this Epson. I suppose, you know, we've, we've had the machine now in the showroom for almost two weeks and I suppose very, very quickly we've become very familiar with it because this machine is full of the same technology that we've come to know and love from Epson. Under the hood, there's a brand new micro piezo head and this head is tuned for resin type printing uh, re resin is the type of ink set in this machine it's a it's a water-based ink set and that makes it very environmentally friendly Un under the hood we've also got a self replacement head if it should be required but the life of this head is for the life of the machine it's not seen as a consumable item and i think that's really really important you can see on the cameras there as we look at the at the printer because of the big curing unit we're not really seeing the print coming off so we've chosen today to show you some video from inside the machine also so maybe we could switch to that James so inside there now at the moment you can see on the left hand side of your screen you can see that we have an amazing grey solid printing and this all really stems from the technology on board this machine so when we look at the machine, what do we get? I suppose John's already touched on it there. Inside every great signage machine that's ever been built is an Epson printhead, and that's what's at the core of this printer. 
So we're using the same technology as the SES range has. So we're using the, 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 the profiles and everything else that comes with the Epson Edge dashboard. And I suppose that's really the starting point of all the latest and greatest Epson printers is the Epson Edge dashboard and the ability to download the profiles for the media, send it to the machine and have the machine calibrate itself upon that media. And that's what gives us our consistency of color when we move from media to media to media. And I suppose for any of you out there that are already using the SES range, whether it's the 4600 or the 8600, you've come to know and love what that offers you. And I suppose two things that offers you is quality and reliability. So you can see inside the printer here at the moment, you can see that we're producing this lovely gray solid. And for any of you that are used to seeing any of our sample packs or have received the sample pack office, you'll be familiar with this foil. You can see inside here at the moment, the ink is still very wet, and that's because of the process involved. So because it's a water-based ink, the water is evaporated off, and that happens in the curing unit. So on, the, on, on top of the same platen that we have, we now have a curing unit. So as the ink passes down through here, the ink is, uh, ultimately the water particle that is evaporated. So when it comes out of here, it's completely dry. And I think that's really important here. When it comes to this point here, it's scratch resistant ready to use more importantly so you know when we look at the ink on this machine because of the lack of solvents there's zero solvents in this at all it becomes really really important for the operator to know that the, the media coming off this machine there's no gas off number one so we can immediately use any material so whether this is vinyl or any other piece of material coming off it we can immediately use it but more importantly that makes it very applicable to things like wrapping vehicles because there's been no solvent passed in so I think we'll just take a second to just appreciate what the machine is doing because I think the one thing that we're very familiar with is Epson print quality. We're, we're familiar with maybe some of you watching today aren't. The one quality. One of the things that I notice here, Colin, is how well protected the print head is. I mean, it's almost like it's in a tank there. Yeah. So that's protecting well, it from dust. It's protecting it from any friction. It's protecting it from getting damaged anyway. Yeah, and not, mean, it's not, the number one asset of this machine and all Epson machines, the print head. But all, all, all boy farmer printers, the number one asset. And you can see again on this machine, the whole print area is enclosed and any any amount of overspray or anything is, is sucked out of the machine into its own extraction system. Yeah, because a lot of, a lot of production floors don't use clean at this No, yeah. exactly, yeah. So I think one of the second things that we've seen on the machine that we, again, instantly recognize and know and love you can see in the bottom right hand corner of your screen there at the moment is the electronic unwinder. The electronic unwinder sits upon the stand. So the stand that this machine sits upon is exactly the same stand. Everything about it is identical in every single way to the SES range. And the SES range with that stand really cracked, you know, linearity because what they had is very, very consistent feed and very, very consistent it's take up. Yeah, it, it's, it's just amazing. It really is amazing. So, you know, when we're feeding up under here, we have an electronic feed that maintains pressure from each side, and then also the speed of the feed is also controlled. And all this gives us great, well, I'm looking for the right word, but ultimately it's perfection. Well, it's consistency, consistency really is the, the key word here. So you can see on the video, just as the media enters the machine, there's an addition on this machine, and these are little cloth wipers. The cloth wipers on this machine is aimed at wiping down the media before it goes into the printer. And the idea of that is, so as the printer, the media heading up underneath the print head is meticulously clean. And that's one of the things that adds to the lifespan of the head on this machine, is we're hopefully ever never going to have an incident where we send up something underneath the media that could offend, potentially affect the print quality so again we're just looking at un, under the cover here right -hand. under the cover here in the top right hand corner top left hand corner at the moment you can see that we're printing just an amazing green solid the, uh, it, yeah a, a, again, we, we didn't mention that later on, maybe you did in your like, presentation. What's the typical picolator size of, say, you take a standard non epson white format printer? Well, I would say, if you, if, you look at an, if you were looking at the very best quality going, a P-series printer from Epson would be the very best machine on the market. Yeah, if you, the, the top it, photographer. Yeah, if you, weren't yeah. Worried, if you were not worried about, you know, the application, if you're just purely going for print quality, you'd be looking at a P-series Epson. 
and the P series Epson delivers photographic quality at 3.9 picoliters. That's the size of the droplet that comes out of the print head, give you that fine detail. More, more importantly than that, it's also variable droplet technology. So because no two droplets going down are the same size, you get this consistency of print that's un... I'm looking for the correct word again. Unrivaled, yeah, sorry. You're getting unrivaled print quality because of the variable droplet size. So on the SES range, we've got a droplet size of 4.1, and on the resin printer now, the R series, we've got a droplet size of 4.9. Put that in but context. It's so much far in advance of what a lot of the signage printers out there using solvent ink sets are using. So a lot of solvent printers out there, some of them, the best out there in the market would be something like around seven, eight picoliters. But again, it's a bigger, uglier droplet. And you have to remember what these droplets are used for. They are used for, as you whiz past on the road, it's in a, a sign. It's not necessary for quality, but all of, the, all of the printers in the range of the SCS range and the R series, now, they are all photographic printers for outdoor use. Yeah, we're looking at the touchscreen control panel there yeah. the bottom right. So in the bottom right there now, we're looking at the new control panel. So on this now, the, the buttons up, down, left and right, the OK buttons and stuff like that, have been replaced with a touch screen. So the idea of this is, because it's a water-based set now, we're not going to potentially ruin the touch screen if we had some solvent on our hands, like maybe doing maintenance and we had some solvent cleaner on our hands and we end up touching the screen. Because it's a water-based ink set and the cleaners are water-based, we're not going to damage the screen. Makes it very easy to use also as well. It's very intuitive. We're looking at the bulk system here. So this is the 5000, the R5000. Uh, and that, that has six ink cartridges, if you like. Well, by way of bags, it's bags really. And again, it's a sustainability argument. Cartridges take up more space to move from A to B. Take up more space if disposed of after use. Bags are much more environmentally friendly. And the R5000L, has 12 ink slots, each take 1.5 litres, but they're bought in packs of 3 litres, you, you know, to 1.5 litres per box, with a hot swap, so that you never have to pause your printing when you're changing your ink. So even, even the entry level, if you like, the R5000 is bulk. The R5000L is super bulk, with there 3 litres on board. There is, a, there is a difference in the cost of the two ink sets. So in the, in the R series, you're looking at a, a cost of the price per package works out that a, a square meter maximum coverage works out at about a euro 17 euro 18 a square meter but on the r5000 l the square meter coverage price then comes down to about a euro a square meter so that's ever so slightly cheaper than the s series currently produces work at. and i suppose for any out there again using the s series that's the number one feather in its cap Apart from the quality that it does and the reliability and the consistency will be its running cost. People do not believe it until they've tried it for themselves and after they've tried it for themselves they would be happy to tell us that it's far superior to anything they've ever used or are likely to use. In the bottom right hand corner now again we're just looking at the overall build quality of the machine. How much is this machine Oh it's just over half a ton so. Half a ton? Yeah it's, it's an incredible piece of kit and again like, as we're talking about, metal, like, oh yeah, well, as we're talking about the technology again, like you know, the simple little things like the stand and how the machine is built. So if you come around and have a look at the stand, there's spirit levels on either end of the stand, and they remain there for the entire time. And it's that attention to detail and that type of build quality that puts the machine sitting so firmly on the ground. You're not really going to get it from the video, but we we like to show this. We have a bottle of water sitting up on top of the machine. Sometimes we put a pint of water up on top of the machine. But it really it's to demonstrate how solid the machine sits upon the ground. It's not moving, it's not shaking, it's not rocking. Yeah, it's not and when, when you combine that to some machines where they're trashing around, and as the head passes backwards and forwards, left and right, how consistent can that print be in terms of droplets raining down at 45 degree angles in bi-directional printing? How is it possible for these to land exactly where they want if the machine is trashing around? So that's one of the things that Epson spent a lot of time and money investment in R&D before even the SES range came out, was to get this right, because they understand fundamentally every single screw, nut and bolt, because they built everything themselves in what goes into these printers. Everything has to be correct. You know, it's not just about a printhead, it's not just about the ink set. 
It's about the overall build quality and how stable the machine is. And that's what's going to give the machine longevity. Yeah, I think, I think um, the spirit levels are not to get excited about. But when you consider the level of attention to detail that Epson have gone to to put spirit levels on the machine, one use only, that's for setup. They're not used after that. But think about the level of attention to detail that that suggests. And as an independent supplier to the marketplace, we've gone for Epson because it is by far and away the best brand on the market today, and that's reflected in the sales. If you look at the sales figures across the world in this segment, the S series is number one. The R series now is gonna have something to say about that. And it's very exciting to be working with a supplier that is investing heavily in this area and has more products coming on stream all the time across signage and display, textiles, flatbed, eco solvent, now resin, direct to garments, and so on. It's extremely exciting for both us and for our customers in terms of the competitive edge that they can get in the marketplace, the quality that they can produce, and the longevity of the equipment. Yeah, so the whole world we've been talking, the quality of that. yeah, the whole world we've been talking, the machine is churning out the work. We have a, a job set up there running away, and that's going to continue to run. I, I don't think it's really appropriate to stop in the middle of a demonstration that we're doing online to start loading media. So earlier on this morning, we took some time just to show you how putting the job together from start to finish actually works. So in this video that you're looking at in the main screen now, we're putting up a roll of media. This is a pull-up banner roll. So you can see that I'm, I'm locking in the side, and it, there's nothing to be afraid of with this machine. It's, it's the very same setup as the S-Series. <laughs> Everything is identical. So you can see I'm putting my hands there, and that's just showing you where the cloth wipers are. The media goes between the metal and the cloth wipers there. And we're going to load the media up under the heads. So when we come around to the front of the machine, although this is slightly different in color, it is exactly the same technology as the SES. We have our two little holding plates either side. They do two jobs. One, they hold the media down, and two, they tell the printer the size that you're about to print onto. So we close the lid down and close the lever for the machine to signal that we're going to load media. You'll get a little clip here now of the, the touch screen on the machine, and this is what it prompts us to do. So we're selecting the media that we want to print on, so now we tell it the meter's remaining and stuff like that. We set it up and press OK. The machine out of the box comes with the Epson Edge print, which is a rip designed by Epson themselves. That's always been there as a product. Uh, on the SES range, it comes as standard with Onyx. Onyx will be an optional extra in this case on this machine. Not a whole heap of money. Not, no, it's not a massive investment, not, especially if you've already got Onyx already. So in this case, nothing has changed. The Epson Edge dashboard is going to interact with the machine in exactly the same way. So on the right hand side of Onyx, you can see the media that's loaded in. That's driven by the printer itself. When we open up the job on the left hand side, the media automatically opens up. And it means from an operator point of view, you know, the danger here is in using so many different profiles that the operator could potentially get something wrong. But in this case, there's no question of getting something wrong because the machine itself automatically prompts Onyx to rip what to select from a media point of view so when we open our job up that's already selected for us and it's just a matter of selecting the correct quality but again that's defined by default so once the job is ripped it jumps into the right hand side of the queue and we select print so just took a short video now of it actually printing the pull up banner so you can see again the quality is just stunning like it's unrivaled and i, and I think one, one of the things that we haven't even touched upon really today so far is that the ink set in this common with resin type inks would to have would be to have a very dull and unvibrant finish epson have spent a lot of time on this making it as close in appearance to a solvent printer as is possible when we print onto matte products we do get a matte finish but when we print onto gloss products we do get a gloss finish so it's not really a massive choice for the customer to make in terms of what type of machine do you want it on Customer's going to know no difference. So for the first time here now, we're seeing the new Fayon flatbed ta smart table. And in this, it comes with two cutters. So a 2.5 meter cutter and a 1.6 meter cutter, which is attached. The 2.5 meter cutter goes underneath the machine for safe storage. There's a set of trays there. And all around the machine, there is a couple of trays there from a point of view of holding tools and storage making it easy a great work surface to work on 
So in this video, we're using it to mount a pull-up banner. So we've used it to trim down the pull-up banner. So rather than crawling around on the floor or using safety rollers and potentially chopping off our fingers, we're using the two different cutters involved. And we've now loaded up the pull-up banner material into the banner unit. And we're now just going to retract it down. So this is very easily a one-person job. Nobody holding the other end of the roller for you. For, for those of you that are used to doing this, this is obviously very boring, but for people that don't have uh, application tables, this is obviously very exciting. So we're just pulling up the pull-up banner there now, and you can see, like from start to finish, it was a very, very easy job, and the table made all that possible. So in the video now, I'm just gonna take a minute to have a look at the table. So I think this is, uh, it's really exciting to be able to show this table. The table comes from Fayon. It's a 1.6 smart table, three meters in length by 1.6 meters in width. It's good for all your 1.37 meter media. You're gonna be able to take this. So on, on the roller here, we have easy use. There's one lever that can be controlled from either side. Once we press our lever down and up, the roller gets loaded down. It comes included with a compressor, and also I'm just gonna walk around the front here for a second. It's LED backlit too. So it becomes a great table to use from a walking point of view. We're not just gonna use it for mounting, it can be used for lamination, for applying application tape. The LED backlit system makes it very, very good for the looks of when you're weeding and stuff like that. And again, as you've seen with the pull-up banner, it's just a great table and a great walk surface. Really sturdy, nice cutting mat up on top of it. So I'm gonna use uh, a guard knife to break the back and paper. So I'm gonna take over my uh, media. I have it lined up there now onto the curry board. In this case, I'm using a, a 10 mil curry board. I'm gonna put down my pressure roller. I have my back and paper broken. I hope you can see that in the camera from above. I'm removing the back and paper and I'm simply rolling out. to apply that on. I'm gonna bring it back to the point where I had the back and paper broken. I'm gonna pull my printed vinyl up on top again to the point where I can reach my back and paper. There is different methods for doing this. This would be my preferred method. Other people would start at the end and fold the media back. That's also good too. I suppose it's whichever really you fancy for yourself. So again, we just hold the back and paper away and we're applying down now the second part of the print. So all the while, the print was hinged in the middle and that gave us an absolute assurance that the media wasn't gonna move. And I suppose you can see for yourself how easy that was to apply the piece of vinyl on. It's really... What's going on there? Video's stuck. <laughs> Couldn't see that at all, could you? So, yeah, <laughs> I'll show you there now. Sorry, I don't know why that video is stuck. You can see from that, it was really well done. I suppose one of the things about this and the reason we've chosen to show it to you today was based upon all things being equal. They kind of go hand in hand with resin toy printers. Because of how scuff resistant the ink is, it lends itself to when you're doing 8x4s or 4x4s for you to make that choice and save yourself some money on the laminate and just apply the printed vinyl directly onto the media. And I think that, you know, when you combine that and you combine the fact of how well it works, it, it's a must-have tool for all printing companies to have and sign making companies because it's just reducing your overheads, it's reducing your labour. It might be the decision you make in terms of, you know, do I hire a new guy there now? To, to, st to let them stand over the laminator all day long and take the laminate off so as you can use as a mounter. I, I think this is a fantastic piece of equipment. And please, please feel free to get in touch with either James, John and myself, or even Aiden, or any of the lads out there on service to arrange to come in and see it for yourself. We'd be only too happy to show it to you. So I think while we're having a look at some other equipment, we'll pop over to John there, who's standing behind the SES 8600, and he's just gonna show you a little bit about that machine. Thanks very much, Colin. Uh, welcome to the other side of the digitalprint.ie showroom. The, uh, the Fion applicator table we just 
took delivery of it maybe four weeks or so ago and we delivered the first one out to our customer. We do printing. About two weeks ago he's getting on very well and interestingly enough it went out with an Epson S8600 which is the machine that I'm standing behind right here now. This is the number one selling signage printer in Ireland, the UK and indeed right across the world according to the figures that Epson have shared with us. Between this model and the Epson S4600, the four color version, there's probably about 125 installed on the island of Ireland today. And we're very excited by this technology. We're very passionate about this technology. And one of the things that excites us so much about the R series, the reason we're here today, and you can keep an eye on it printing away on one of the other cameras while I'm speaking. One of the reasons we're so excited by the R series is because so much of what makes the R series exciting has been taken from the S series. Tried and tested. From the printhead, as we've mentioned, to the chassis, to the unwind and the rewind, the general build quality, it's Epson. And that really excites us. This machine is a 10 color device. It's the only signage printer in its class that's Pantone certified. And when you combine that together with the Epson Edge dashboard, that comes with the S series and the R series, which gives you profiles for literally every media that you choose to print on these devices so that you have the correct profile at your fingertips, downloadable online in seconds onto the printer. And it'll store up to 30 here. When you combine those two things together with the print head and the quality, you get a really consistent print quality, high print quality, photographic quality, but without compromise. An eco-solvent printer that's designed for all your outdoor application needs as well as your indoor application signage, high quality indoor decor work and so on. If you've got difficulty matching specific customer corporate colors, if you have difficulty when a job comes in and a reprint is required and you need to match that color, then you should be looking at Epson. Either the S series, which is tried and tested, or the R series, which we're talking about to you here today. Companies like the Print and Science Studio, I. Stephen, in Carrigaline and Cork, with two S8600s, EF Science in Tralee, A1 Science in Galway, the Sign Place, in Burton County, Donegal, they all have a serious competitive edge because of Epson products. If you'd like to share in that, please get in touch. Demos available virtually or online anytime. Let's go back and have a closer look at the R series before we finish up. Click on the scouts are all offers in. <laughs> Column, uh, one of the things that kind of fascinates us so much about this particular machine is the depth and the range of substrates that it can print onto. So it'll, it'll print onto all your standard stuff, but it will also print onto the likes of papers, fabrics. I have a sample pack here that I'm willing to share with people, but I was pretty amazed by the range of different samples that are approved and ready to go, including fabrics and textiles. Yeah, sorry, I'm just going to cut across you, John. There was a problem with the camera up above the yeah. rollover table we were presenting that. So just wanted to switch a camera back around there for a second. So you can see that was the curry board that we had mounted <laughs> that you should have been able to see better during the video. But uh, you, can, the print. you can see that it was just stunning. And that's all that is off the R series as Turn well. It around there. Turn it around there. Like it's fantastic quality, you know. Like video will just not do this justice. You really have to see it. Come in, either send foils, uh, come in and have a demo, send foils in, get samples sent out to you, whatever you'd like to do for yourself. It's gonna be on the road pretty soon too. <clears throat> so I was just saying that the range of substrates is one of the things that really caught our attention with this product. So it print on all your standard stuff, your PVC banner, It'll also do all your vinyls for vehicle graphics, outdoor signage, but also for indoor work on fabrics, wallpapers. The wallpaper market's grown really fast. I believe it's grown 
for anime. If it's not an area that sign makers are in now, they should seriously be looking at it, whether that's corporate or directly to the consumer. And also papers. I mean, it's a very versatile printer from that point of view, isn't it, Carl? Yeah, I think so. Like, I, I think just going back to some of the points you've already mentioned there, uh, I suppose the, the wallpaper is a really interesting product because although wallpapers can be very comfortably done on the solvent based printers the thing that the resin type printer really lends itself to wallpapers for is because of the scratch resistance so you know okay doing a, a wallpaper on a solvent machine where it's going to go up into an area of very low traffic so you know maybe the back room of a boardroom or something like this might be really good to do some wallpaper and some textured stuff on but if we wanted to put it in a high traffic area so maybe the reception of a hotel or corridor down to the toilets in a nightclub or something like this you know something where people are going to be brushing off and knocking off it all day long that's where the resin type inks are really going to lend itself to doing wallpaper because again then of no solvent in it and because of the fade system on this machine you're going to get absolutely 100 percent consistency on linearity both in the diagonal the length and the width and i think that really lends itself to tackling new areas like wallpaper combine that with the quality at the, the consistency, consistency of prints across, across the length of the wall, whatever that you've got to fit. Yeah. And, and again, like when you look at the look at the print coming off this, and the fact that it's instantly dry, you know, when your customer demands something of you now, you can turn that around really quickly. You know, so like wh whether or not that's this sort of work here, and we're going to do it just on the curry boards, wherever it might be, or we want to wrap a van. You know, we're, we're, we're zero gas and off time because there is absolutely zero solvent in this ink. One of the things over the years that lent itself to question marks over resin type inks would have been the optimizer that's used in the ink set. And that has in the past for other manufacturers caused major issues over delamination. But in terms of Epson, there's an absolute assurance from everything that Epson do. The word quality and perfection is just associated with Epson brand. We've been lucky enough now to be doing Epson for the last three years. We're very proud of that. I think Epson are very proud of the work we've done on their behalf. But when you take everything into account of what Epson do, quite like earlier on in the year when we launched the V-Series, the V7000 flatbed, that's a UV type printer with LED technology. And that ink set had been around for a while too. The Shure Label Press is a machine that's available for a good few years now, John, isn't it? And, Absolutely. you know, that comes with a choice for the, the person that's going to purchase the machine, whether to use UV inks or whether to use uh, resin type inks. So there's Epson products on the market today using, using this technology. This, this is new to Epson, you know. Like they, they're always very, very careful about the markets that they enter. As a Japanese company, there's a great deal of pride in everything that Epson do. And they're really not ones for getting things wrong. So in this case, you know, there's a guarantee here that although there is optimizers in the ink, because Epson make the chassis, because Epson make every single screw, nut and bolt, because they make the head, because the chemists design the ink, because they make their own ink, you have got a 100% assurance that this is correct. And that means that, you know, it's not necessarily a choice based upon what am I going to do for the customer, blah, blah, blah. It's nothing like that. It comes purely down to, okay, customer wants this product how am i going to do it for them am i going to do it on this am i going to do it on this do i need to laminate it do i not need to laminate it but you have the assurance that whatever choice you decide you can do it so the resin type inks really really go and lend themselves well to doing all sorts of work so one other thing you've already mentioned there was the likes of matte type papers matte type papers don't really work well on solvent based machines and that's seen across all solvent machines people tend to like to do gloss type paper and you're kind of forcing your will upon the customer that's all i can do for you gloss type materials don't work very well indoors so people are looking for posters for indoor use lighting can typically reflect off that badly people would really prefer to have matte type papers resin type printers really lend themselves to that and you get a nice matte finish on a matte paper yeah. and i think that's a really really important point one, one of the, the points, points and we've just got a couple of minutes before we finish, finish up that we've mentioned here that's, that's at the core of this product is the sustainability the ink face odorless water-based ink really gives it that credential but also because of the type of ink that we're using here and how durable and scratch resistant it is for many applications which on eco solvent you would be bound to want to laminate. 
for example, carry boards for outdoor signage, you have the option here of not laminating it. So what does that mean? Well, it's going to mean less expense, maybe a euro or more per square meter saving for you as a sign maker or printer, but also less wastage. And, you know, if you combine that, for example, with the likes of sweatboard, which can be used outdoors for certain short-term applications without the need to laminate, and maybe a PVC free vinyl, you have a perfect sustainability solution. But even if you don't, you don't have to laminate to save money, you save uh, on the environment as well, it's friendlier, it's better for the environment. So all around it's a winner. And of course it speeds up your production time. You get stuff out quicker, faster, out the door. Which is what the, the sustainable message isn't necessarily something at the top of everybody's list right now. Like I'm sure if you ask some of our customers, John, in terms of like, you know, you mentioned a lot of the names there, it's not high on their list. But unfortunately, it is high on the list of government departments, multinationals. It's becoming... Some would say fortunately. Yeah, it's become a really relevant thing very quickly. And I suppose, you know, customers are going to have to jump on board with that to, to, to enable them to continue supplying their customers' needs just to be able to offer this as a solution. Because I, I've, it, I've, had I've had a few conversations, conversations with customers over the last small number of months who are increasingly being asked by their customers. There's no doubt about that in but that is particularly the bigger companies. It's the number one reason. Universities, third level institutions, local governments. Sustainability is on the agenda. And sooner or later it's going well. It's becoming bigger and bigger all the time. So I think particularly sign makers who are hearing this in their customer base, the time to act is now. Don't wait until it's too late. Don't wait until somebody else steals your thunder comes in with something like this. It is, the, it is the number one reason that's in the shower room is the questions from the customers, isn't it? Absolutely. Well, look, we brought you uh, right through the printer, and we hope, we really hope that we've shared with you some of the reasons why we're so passionate about this, and indeed, all of the Epson products in the shower room. Everything is available for you if you're based on the island of Ireland. Come in, socially distance, of course, have a look at the equipment, bring your own files, bring your own substrates, bring your own media. We're more than happy to welcome you in. We're going to be in Cork next week. We'd be more than happy to come in and have a look at the S-Series, get in touch with James if that's of interest to you. If you'd like any of these files that we printed here today and you're based on the island of Ireland, we'd be more than happy to send them out to you. Thank you very much for your time. Time is valuable and you've given us 45 minutes of yours. But thank you very much for your time. Hope you found it useful and we very much look forward to welcoming you into the showroom at some point in the near future. Thanks a lot. Thank you.